Okay, morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Friday, the 14th of July. Um, I certainly haven't been in for a while. I don't seem to pick the best days for it. And it's not very pleasant out there at the moment. And uh, this is the midday uh, Met Office chart. You can sort of see why developing low pressure system. It's been out to the west of us yesterday, slowly coming in. And it's now feeding in um, a succession of fronts and trough lines uh, of varying intensity uh, towards us over the course of the day. Uh, southwesterly, southerly winds on the ground. And I think finally, when this uh, gets through this front here, and it looks like it's going to be much, much later today. The wind will go a bit more westerly, but it's very showering uh, in here. Uh, but as the as the day goes, you know, what sort of day goes on, the wind will pick up a little bit. And certainly by tomorrow, wind is going to be a, a feature because the low pressure still here, but the isobars are tending to tighten up uh, down to the south. So rain and showers and very strong winds, I think, for tomorrow. Um, Tuffs, well, when Farnborough is a two-line tuff, then, um, you know, there's a lot going on. Few at 2,000 feet is the sort of headline one here. I suppose coming and going, it might be bits of cloud at that height, but I think they're certainly uh, broken at 1,000 is, is more likely. The important bits between 10 and 4 in the afternoon, rain and drizzle, wind picking up in the afternoon, and they don't go much beyond 4, but Gatwick, Does and they're saying when there's sort of um, rain tempo after about sort of four or five o'clock in the afternoon, uh, 15 gusts and 25 knots. And then into tomorrow, the 15th, they're showing 20 gusting 35. Uh, so, yeah, getting windy tomorrow with showers. Racket in the background is my dog being my nuisance for himself. He's been locked away in his brain because he's uh, biting at the moment. Okay, upper winds. Um, really southerly across here, but more importantly, the direction of where the sort of fronts are going. So 220, 50 knots. They're traveling fairly quickly uh, in the upper winds from the southwest. Sat pick just shows a lots and lots of cloud over us and, and more intense here, heavier rain out to the west of us at the moment. And that's yet to arrive. That's probably another hour away. Two hours. And then um, that'll be sort of fairly intense for three or four hours. And then I think this tail here is going to get to us at about four or five o'clock showers behind it temperature wise certainly not the uh, the average for the time of year sort of it won't feel like warm 15 16 degrees seems about right uh, and top meteo are suggesting actually they're, they're always a, the rain is a little bit behind um, what's actually happening that's sort of 12 one o'clock and they're saying the intense area of rain is still over uh, the West Country, and then not really getting to us until uh, four or five o'clock in the afternoon, a little bit before that, I think. But realistically, with, with both top meteo and sky sight, it's showing that it's not really clearing um, until you know, very late afternoon, early evening. So let's just look at winds for today and tomorrow so the gust factor windy in the west of england you can see up to 30 knots this morning and that's slowly coming our way during the day so by the afternoon getting fairly windy And uh, tomorrow, over us for most of the day, winds 30 knots plus. 
So I don't think it's going to be flying with tomorrow. Just a quick look at the airspace uh, around us. Not really a lot around the Lasham area, but a little bit further away. Uh, number eight is the red arrows at Goodwood. And on the 14th, they're displaying between 11.10 and 11.45. And the other one uh, of interest, but I don't think anybody's going to be flying today or going anywhere particularly, is the uh, Riyadh airspace around here. So easier to see on the AIS chart, and essentially it runs from nine o'clock this morning uh, until seven thirty at night, and that's right up to the base of the airspace, six and a half thousand feet across here, flight level six five, and then flight level eight five here. So it's a rather large barrier. Um, the various aerodrome operators, including us and Dane, have, have entry and exit options and, and Campbell as well. But if you're just GA traffic, you've got to transit around it. OK, folks, so I really don't think it's flyable today. Uh, and I think it's very iffy for tomorrow with the forecast strength of the wind. Uh, so unfortunately, a bit of an odd weather pattern for this time of year, but uh, I think that's been caused by the high pressure that's planted over, over Europe that's just feeding in the uh, frontal systems. Right, see you at the briefing tomorrow.